artist and I live in Easton. I'm going to paint some daffodils today. This is my palette. I've set it all up with all the colors I need. Here's my canvas. Ready? Let's go. Okay, I'm mixing some colors. Mixing a blue for the vase. I mix the light of the blue and the shadow of the blue. Kind of a greeny blue. And let's see. I'm going to draw out kind of a general guide for myself with my shadowy blue. That's the vase. That's the table. Seashell. Shadow. There's all the flowers are going to be here. Behind there is the window. Alright, it's just a little map for where I'm going. Sometimes too purple. I add a little yellow. Now we'll put this shadow on. Oh. Starts out being kind of messy. That's okay. I like that color. Yep. I don't care about things being just right. We'll worry about that later. I just want to get the feeling first. This is where the light is hitting the vase. start anyway. It's a little darker than it probably should be. Right now I'm just feeling my way. Splotches. It doesn't really look like much. I'm mixing colors that I see. Bright colors for the flowers. Grayish colors for the vase. Um, what I'm doing is I'm laying the colors next to each other. So I have this flower here that's a bright yellow. And behind it, if I squint, it looks gray to me. So I'm putting the gray in. Then I have to figure out where this vase is. I'm putting a little pinky, pink color here. Just about laying colors next to each other. And that pink and that purple gray look nice together. I'm gonna mix green for the stems. This is my king's blue, it's new. My lemon yellow, blue and yellow make green. Let's see. Woo it's kind of fun. about what I'm painting is where the blue hits the vase, the blue light. So I mix some really bright blue and just make this a cool shape. It's like a curve. It comes down and it comes up. 
I'm not really caring about getting it drawn perfectly. There's also this beautiful blue line on the rim of the vase. I probably won't get it right, but it's kind of beautiful. And I'm also not getting the colors exactly right. I'm just sort of trying to make something that makes me happy. working on the whole painting at once, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Still kind of mushy. I've made two colors for the daffodil petals. I have this brownish yellow, it's like a muddy yellow. That's sort of where the shadow of the petals are. And then the pure, the pure bright yellow. Well, I'll mix my lemon yellow with my Cadmium. This is a pure bright yellow. That's for where the sun is hitting. I have to paint fast because the sun is going to move. But anyway. That's what painting is. You just keep playing around and you keep trying until you feel like you've got something. You can always paint over it if it doesn't work out. they paint. That's not really how fast they paint. Look how messy my palette is. Anyway, still going at it. So I'm getting tired and the sun is getting lower and the light is changing. So, I'm going to set my painting aside and come back tomorrow at the same time and keep working on it. Goodbye. Hello again, it's the next day. So, it's raining, the, the light is completely different, but that's okay. I kind of like looking at my painting again I like to work from memory, and I might change and do more of this rainy kind of mood and mix a lot of grays. If you don't like it, you can scrape it off or paint on top. Anyway, I think I'm getting close to being finished, so let's go. Alright, I think I'm finished. I had fun, and that's the most important thing. Thanks for watching.